What is up, my metal maniacs? What are you guys doing out here? You should be in the workshop with me. Look what we already did. Ooh, sweet ass candelabra. Check this out. We took rod, bent it all up, ran it through our slip roll, which is amazing. Does these loop de loops. Then we straightened out all of these outside rods, put on these awesome little, actually they're pieces that they use for gates and doors here. They're basically ornamental hammered buttons. If you guys check this out right in there, super cool. So we put those on. Now it can take all sorts of forms of candles. This is a returners class. So we got all these badass veterans in here doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Wall hangings, fireplace covers, candelabras, all sorts of madness. So come with us. I'll see you on the other side. what she's making. That's Suzanne, she's amazing. Look, there's Suzanne. This is about her 18,000th time here. She loves it, she's a metal art aholic. Here's what happened. She found this cool little nicho or like a little beautiful mirror box at this local flea market. And then what she did was, she's adding all these little accoutrements to it. She added the rose, she added the bird, she's again about to add this little leaf. But what she did is get super creative and she used all this great paint that goes with metal and went silver on the outside, gold in the middle. But that's not it, come here. We're making this little back nicho box, okay, to go behind the mirror, okay, and that is gonna actually have a bird inside of it sitting three dimensional and what you just saw her grinding on is, come here, come on, my little maniac, look this beautiful what will be a branch, okay? So we bent it, now she's grinding on it to give it some kind of a little bit of cool organicness and that's it, do it. Gotta get a little bit more. Oh, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. So I'd always look for, oh, there we go, right there. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm keeping this, this looks cool. Tip, right? When you're doing drill pressing, first of all, if you're holding the big piece, it's always good to have backup, okay? You wanna be on the wheel, not trying to hold the thing and on the wheel, okay? The reason why is, something goes wrong, you want that other person to be able to switch it off, back you up, okay, with big pieces. See what they're doing? They've got a big old wall piece they're working on and they're working on it in tandem. The other thing is, always make sure them bits is tight, okay? You don't want the drill press to come down in and grab your material so you go slow and steady. If you ever see smoke, it means you're going too fast. You can also use a lubricant like a WD-40 or something like that to actually put on the bit and put a little bit on the metal, make the whole process work smoother, okay? Just a little tip of the trade.
feast your eyes on it. Richard's coming back for more Metal Art Madness. Here's the deal. He's making sconces to match this cool mirror that he's got at his place in San Miguel. So whoever's going to be renting it when he's not here is going to have an amazingly furnished apartment. As a result of us, you're welcome. Now, here's the deal. He's wrapping these pieces of rod, okay? He's got a back plate that he's actually going to put into the wall. And then he's going to lay rod all over and probably actually weave or place some beautiful acid wash steel or acid wash tin. Let me show you this stuff. Super cool, super interesting, super groovy. So keep working, buddy. And, and put the phone away so it doesn't get metal dust in it. What do we, get, what do, we do in the metal art workshop? We put a bird on it. Look, we're going to cut this super cool bird out. Is this your bird? Did you draw this bird? Because I love it. All right, now, and look, and then we're going to put it, and then we're going to take some very thin wire and make the piece. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good. You know, he's the guy, nicest guy. Oh, sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time, though. He's oh, kidding, he's I'm a me. real asshole. No, no, no. He's <laughs> Come like on. my brother, but not brother. All right. This brother from me. another mother. Look at this thing. It's like it's like uh, looks like it looks like something out of Mad Max, baby. Two men enter, one man leaves. That's fine. Beep, beep. We can bleep it. Okay, less popping, John. Less popping. Look who stole this for you, Richard. See? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Don't mess with her, man. Come on, right here. Don't mess with her. You want to go far? Uh, uh, that's my guy. All right. So John is doing a super cool wall piece here. He found a cut piece from outside. It's totally badass. He's cutting it. He's cutting. He's going to make it so that the piece is only on the inside of the circle. Then he's going to add all of these cool other pieces to go on top of it. Watch it take shape, baby. All right. All right, now, where the hell is my helmet? Gabino did such a cool job. We like this. Look, Gabines, we like this side better now. Gabino! Gabines! Oh, no. What? No, I'm not done with this. No. No? This side isn't done yet. Okay. Talk to me, Alex. What are we doing? So, what we're doing is 
the amazing Kay, who actually is one of the first people who ever came through the workshop. Like four years ago, we opened our doors up to the public. Amazing. She was awesome. She made a cool piece back then, and she said, I want more Metal Art Madness, because she's a metal maniac, too. So, she, so, she came in and she's kind of in the process of doing this super cool wall piece. It's gonna be like abstract, she's getting all creative on it. But what she did was, we took this acid washed steel, okay, this acid washed tin. I like the back. I know, I like, I think the back might be, I don't even know how it's gonna be. But, we put it on so that it would shine through these plasma cut slits. So now you can see, it's kind of multi-dimensional. And we're kind of starting to put this cool little loop through it, so. This piece has got a lot of potential and she's gonna keep on working on it. But look how cool that looks. Totally badass. All right. Woo! Oh, such an awesome workshop. Okay, here's the deal. I gotta show you guys this. We just got done with this. This is one of this amazing veterans. She did this whole thing where she took an old, actually branding iron, put a lock on it, all these old railroad little spikes, made hearts with a plasma cutter, rusted them out, and it's this totally badass candelabra. Look at this thing, man, and she calls it llaves a mi corazón, which means the keys to my heart. Super, super cool. I'm very proud of her, because this is something where she just got creative, got wild. This is the kind of stuff we do all the time. So, you just saw how we did this whole thing. We saw so much stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had so much fun, just as fun, much fun as we had making it. And remember, keep liking us, keep subscribing, keep hitting the bell, keep telling all your friends because we want to spread the metal madness all over the world. And I will see you guys next time in the Metal Art Workshop. And lastly, but not leastly, say what you guys want to see. Keep the comments coming. We love reading them. We love all the love you guys are giving us. And we'll see you next time.